Hello and welcome to my tutorial for using uh, Martin Hoxie's TAG system, which stands for Twitter Archiving Google Sheet. It's very much what it sounds like. It allows you to archive tweets via various search parameters into a Google Sheet and then uh, display visualizations and other interesting things. And you can also export them to be used in Gephi and other visualization software. Uh, before you start, I recommend creating a unique Twitter account for the archiving that you're going to be doing. This will allow you to have your developer work connected to, directly to that. Uh, you won't be tweeting from that account, but you'll be able to uh, use that for your developer work. Uh, to do that, you will also need to create a new email address, most likely. Uh, for example, I just created one called wolfarchives at gmail, and the Twitter handle is wolfarchives. Before you begin, also, you will need to be logged out of all Gmail accounts except for the new one you've just created or whichever one you're going to be using. Uh, this is because we're going to be working with Drive, and when you're logged into multiple, multiple Gmail accounts at this time, uh, it does not really work with Drive very well. It asks you to log out and log in. So please log out of everything else except for this one uh, particular uh, Gmail account. So to begin, once you've done that, you go to uh, tags.hoxie.info, as you can see displayed below, and click on Get Tags. Here you will have the option to uh, create a 6.1. Just reading about that a little bit. Some updates. So once you click 6.1, you're going to click Make a Copy. And what this is going to do is it will make a copy of the uh, spreadsheet that you're going to be using. Oh, a nice new color interface, 6.1. There we go. Okay, so once you've uh, clicked Copy, um, you will eventually see in the header uh, a tags menu item. You'll also see a copy of tag 6.1. You want to rename this so that you don't forget to do this either. And so I'm going to call this the um, climate change archive because I'm going to be searching for uh, tweets that use the phrase climate change. Uh, once you've done that and you've re renamed it, you click on tags and click Set up Twitter access. And this will, you say yes, authentication is required, so click continue. You'll be brought to a, a pop up that asks you if this can happen. You say allow. Twitter authorization. Ah, so now they have two ways in the, to connect. The easy option is. So let's try the easy setup. See how that works. Review permissions. Allow. Sign in to Twitter. Uh, authorize the app. Close this window. Well, that's pretty easy now. You don't even have to use a developer interface. Uh, but perhaps I will uh, create a tutorial that does that as well. Uh, once you have done that, click enter. You enter basically the search term that you want to include. So climate change. Um, and the default, you want to keep that. If you think this is being spammed, you can set a minimum number of followers. So uh, you could you could do that to ensure number of tweets. Sort of goes back in time. Search tweets. Is there any other one favorites? Hmm. You can even search favorites and lists. You can search statuses and timelines. So we're going to do the search tweets. Okay, and we're going to go to tags and then run now.
And you can see it's running the script the first time. It usually takes a little while. Uh, while this is happening, you can go to the tags menu, and then you can also add the summary sheet, which is nice to have, and then also the dashboard sheet. And you can see down at the bottom that new tabs appear below. Okay, And just in that short period of time, what it's done is it's gone back and grabbed uh, just about 3,000 tweets. Now you can up the number of tweets that it will go back and search. It gets research, uh, it gets searches from the last seven days. So you can get 10,000, although it, or more, it just might take a little while and it might not give you all that many. Here we've got 2,970. Uh, we can see that they are in the archive um, and we can, we can go back and look at them. We can look at the summary sheet showing who is actually tweeting about what and how often they are tweeting and the dashboard gives us also some uh, activity information from the last seven days and we can see that well, we went from zero and there's about 200 a day uh, using this particular hashtag and it tells us the start time and end time. Uh, now uh, there is also a tags explorer and the tags archive. Uh, this is a searchable archive and this is a uh, it shows you visualizations of what we're seeing. In order to view those, we need to go to Publish to the Web and the entire document, click Publish, OK. And <clears throat> this is the URL if you ever wanted to share, to share that. Uh, if you are sharing it, please make sure that you are following the Twitter terms of service. Uh, one other thing is that if you want to create this to update every hour, you can go to Tags, Update Archive Every Hour. Uh, if you want it to update every at a certain time, let's say once a week or twice, uh, twice a week at a certain time of the day, uh, or you need it to be updated every minute because it's a very, very uh, recent uh, archive, uh, or hashtag or something viral is taking place, you can go to Tools and then <clears throat> Script Editor, and that will open up a new window. And I recommend changing this to uh, Climate Change Editor. So, because if there are errors that happen at all, you'll get an email and it will tell you exactly which one it is and you won't have to figure that out. Then you can go to Resources, current projects triggers and triggers are basically uh, actions that the archive takes and you can set those and so you want to set one and basically get tweets you can do it time driven hour day timer week timer so if you want to do the week timer you can choose like every monday every tuesday like every tuesday from midnight at 1 a.m and you can save that. So every week this will be updating at 1 a.m. on Tuesday. Um, and this will ensure that it's going to be updated at that time. If you ever want to change that trigger, you can go back and change it. Let's say that you want to, um, you say, okay, well that's just not enough, that you need to have it updated every hour. So you can see current projects triggers, and if you want to delete it, you just click delete. Or if you needed to uh, day timer every day from 1 to 2 a.m. You know, save that and it will update that for you. Okay, uh, so now we have our archive set up. We've got some tweets in it. We um, we can do a quick running again so just to get add a few more tweets to see if there's any more in there. And you can see there's a status bar to tell you how long things are going to take. It's almost done. Uh, so no more tweets at this time yet, just a few more tweets at this time. Number of tweets, unique tweets, and we've already made it public so that we can do view the Tags Explorer. So let's click on that. And it sometimes takes a little while, uh, depending on your system and how many um, 
So here we have uh, the tweets, and it should uh, arrange itself. It takes a little while to do that. Sometimes it zooms in before it zooms out. Other times you have to help it zoom out. It's best if you have your uh, computer displayed at its the full size of your monitor to try to get everything. Um, if it's not zooming out for you, you can give it a little bit of help to do that. And here's a little visualization that you can see. Uh, the larger the word, the larger the username, the more often they appear in the archive. Now, this is just the regular replies to one another. We can see there's not a lot of replies. There are some lines that are connecting here and there. Uh, but we can also see how often there are mentions and how often there are retweets. So if we click mentions, mentions, there it goes. Takes a little while again for these to appear, depending on what's depending on the speed of your computer. So here we can see that there are mentions. Uh, mentions are different than replies. Mentions appear within the tweet. Replies are directly in, directly um, to one another. So that's more of a conversation. Uh, the other ones are just sort of mentioning an account. And again, this is taking a little while. We can also view retweets. So here it's interesting that we can see Leonardo DiCaprio's account is being retweeted quite often. Uh, that, okay, good. Uh, so that's out of the way. Uh, so you also have the ability to search the archive, which uh, shows you all the, the various tweets in the archive and when they've appeared, uh, which is a nice little a nice little feature. You can search by tweet name. You can look for something in the tweet. So if you're interested in say, um, you know, let's see, what might we want to look at? Are there other hashtags that we're interested in also seeing? So let's say we can filter by just by climate. That might be something, or there's one called carbon. We could do a search for that and see how many, and just get an interesting visualization uh, idea of how many people are tweeting, tweeting that uh, particular search. And we can narrow that down based on timeline or time of the day and so on. And then you can see uh, who has been doing it. And it just pulls it out, gives you an idea of who the users are, what they're, what they're doing. Just a little bit more information. Uh, in the visualization, uh, what's nice is that you can um, you can do some other work by clicking on the little dots. Let's try to go back to that. Maybe it'll uh, be a little bit friendlier now. Again, it takes a long time. So what's nice about this is, zoom in a little. You can click on a particular username, and you can get, you know, see how often that particular person has tweeted, and then you can replay those tweets over time. And when there's a lot of tweets, you start seeing lots of things popping up, and you get an under, a sort of a uh, an understanding of the dynamics of how things are starting to appear and change over uh, as as they're starting to appear uh, on, on Twitter. And when there's something viral, you really see things happening, and you can just watch that viral speed taking place. Uh, the last thing uh, that you want to be able to do here is you want to be able to export these so that you can bring them into uh, another kind of spreadsheet for some sort of analysis. Uh, I'll be having a tutorial for setting this up to using Gephi, but for now, just a regular export. You go to File, 
download as, and then you say comma separated values, and it's just the current sheet. So you want to make sure that you're on the archive page. And you click on that, and it will give you the option to save and um, to save as your computer. And when you're opening it, I strongly recommend you use OpenOffice rather than uh, Microsoft Excel uh, because uh, Excel does not keep the um, Twitter, the uh, user, uh, the status IDs as the full number. It cuts them off, which is rather prob problematic. So you want to make sure that you are using OpenOffice because it keeps everything exactly the way um, that it should be. So that's that's tags. It's very, like I said, very easy to set up, uh, easy to use, um, and uh, good luck while you're using it. Let me know if you have any questions.